A while back, I made a video where I showed every plugin that I use for my Minecraft SMP server. Now that video has gotten quite popular. And since then, people have been asking me, Kassasura, how do you install this plugin? Kassasura, how do you set up this plugin? How does it work? So I've decided to make some tutorials on the more complicated plugins that I showed in that video. Now I already made a video where I showed how to create player shops all the way from start to finish. And also I made a video on how to exactly install and set up essentials. And today we're going to cover World Guard and World Edit. Two very essential and very, very handy plugins that you will absolutely need for your Minecraft server. If it is big, if it is small, it doesn't matter. You need these plugins, they are amazing. And I'm going to show you how to set them up. Anyway, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you are subscribed to the channel. My analytics show me that you are pretty much not. Pretty much nobody subscribed to the channel. Everybody watches, but nobody subscribes. It is honestly sad. So you can make me a little bit of a happier YouTuber by subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And you can always unsubscribe in the future. If you change your mind, I hope you won't, but you can. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So for this video, just like the last one about essentials, I will assume that you've already set up a Minecraft paper or spigot server and that you are completely ready to start installing plugins. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click the first two links in the description of this video. One of them will bring you to World Guard and the other one will bring you to World Edit. Now here on the page of the World Guard plugin, we will just click on the download latest file. It's that easy, I, I don't know. Now on the page of World Edit, you're also going to click on download latest file and and there it is. Now to actually install them, we're just going into the plugins folder on our Minecraft server. Now it doesn't matter if you have a server hosted locally or somewhere at a company like MC Pro Hosting. You need to have access to the files anyway. So just go to your plugins folder and throw them both in there. There we go. World edit and world guard. Now let's start the server and let's hop in. Okay, so here we are on the server. And if we type slash plugins, you will see that both world edit and world guard are installed. Now there is actually Actually, not much you have to change to the config because World Edit and the World Guard, they just work. It are quite easy plugins in the sense of setting them up. But there's still some basic things you will need to know. So first of all, to access World Edit, you will need to do slash slash wand. This wand will actually give you a wooden axe. And this axe is the key to World Edit. So with World Edit, you will always have to select two blocks. So for example, I will select this block with the left mouse button, and then I will select this block with the right mouse button. Now after this, a whole area has been selected, but now you actually need to tell the server what you want to do with it. So we can, for example, set it all to one specific block. So then we will just do slash slash set, and let's set it to uh, stone. There we go. Now we got the giant stone block. Now we can also set it all to air. So if we just set it to air there we go now there's nothing we can also set it to multiple blocks so if you do set and then we will do stone but then not a space but a comma and after the comma we're going to say diamonds a block there we go set diamond block and now we'll have a random diamond block slash stone combination also looking quite nice now let's set it to stone again there we go and we can also actually replace the area so for example if we would select the top of this tree and then we will select uh this place over there okay now we have selected quite a big area over here but like you can see there are many many blocks we got dirt blocks we got grass blocks we got grass over here we got sand now let's say we just want to remove the grass what we will have to do then is slash slash replace and we're going to replace the grass blocks or we're going to replace them for stone there we go all the grass in the area has been replaced to stone. And like you can see, the dirt which is beneath the grass is still there. And also the sand is still in its place. Okay, so there's something else very funny you can actually do with this. So let's select one block over here. And then let's fly all the way to the other side. There we go. And then let's select the block here on the side of this mountain. There we go. Now there's a huge area we have selected. But I haven't thought about height at all. I've just selected two blocks that are pretty far from each other. What we're going to do now is we're going to expand this selection. Because I actually want to make it so that everything all the way to the maximum build height down to the bedrock is selected. So to do that we will do slash slash expand vert. 
want, as in expand vertically. If you do that, everything from top to bottom will be selected. Like you can see, there are quite many blocks. And what we can do now, for example, is replace... Uh, we're going to replace water for diamond blocks. Let's see if this works. There we go. All the water has been replaced for diamond blocks. So all the water from all the way to the maximum build heights down to the bedrock has been changed into diamond blocks. I prefer this. This is much better. Now that are the basics of world edit. Of course world edit has a ton of commands there's so many things you can do with it you can just do slash slash help and you will see all the world edit commands that are there so these are 15 pages of world edit commands you can do you will just have to go through it look at everything see what can be of use for you but at least now you know the basics the next plugin we're going to talk about is world guard and world guard is a plugin on its own but it needs world edit to actually work that's also why i've included world edit in this video they kind of work together a lot like a lot a lot so to use world guard we will need the want of world edit again so if you've lost it do slash slash want and there it is again what we're going to do now is just like in world edit we're going to select a area so for example over here we're going to select a small area like this there we go now for the purpose of this video i'm just going to change this to stone so you guys know where the area is now i want the area from like all the way up here to there to be selected so let's go to this corner and then to this corner there we go so if i now create a region then this whole area here will be a region and so we're going to create a region so after you've selected an area that you want to turn into a region just type rg or region doesn't matter define and then the name of the region in my case i'm just going to call it test and every single youtuber always calls it test so i'm gonna call it test as well region define test enter and there we go a new region has been made named test this region is now protected from modifications from others don't want that use rg flex test pass through allow so that is actually a flag now because i'm an operator on the server i can actually remove blocks and break blocks everywhere i want even inside of this region now for other players who are not op on the server they won't be allowed to break any blocks in here they will be out here but not in here they also won't be able to place any blocks in this whole area so this is for example a very good way to protect your spawn area or protect a house or whatsoever you name it you can protect it with world guard now after you've created a region there are a lot of things you can modify about this region and that is what we call flags so every single world guard region has its own flags and flags just basically tell the region what it should and what it shouldn't do so to access the flags we're just going to type rg flags and then the name of the region in my case test there we go flags for tests and here you can see tons of flags so these are all things you can change and they are all pretty straightforward so by default these are all set to deny so by default you can't break any blocks but if you want people to actually break blocks you can set them to allow it's actually giving you a warning message because the world is not protected anymore if you change this but it is possible now also things like pvp maybe you have a server that is pvp free but you want a specific area where people can actually pvp then you can just set pvp to allow in here and then people can just basically fight each other also sleep do you want people to be able to sleep no they can't because it's a pvp area tnt can tnt actually explode no no tnt in the area chest access can people access chests yes they can miracle place so can people place things like boats yes of course you get the idea you get the idea i like this there are six pages of flags you can change it is quite a lot it is a lot to actually go through but if you know what kind of region you want to create and what you want the region to actually do it isn't that hard and the nice thing is by default the region you create is already protected so you will only actually have to change things like pvp and tnt and that's kind of more specific stuff. But for the rest, people just can't break any blocks in a region you create. You can make it how your heart desires. So much stuff is possible with World Edit. It's an amazing plugin. And like you can see, it is not hard to set up or use at all. Just download them from the links in the description. Put them into your plugins folder. And now you at least know the basics on how you use them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something today. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And of course, if you're not subscribed, 
subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It would really, really help me out. And you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. And then that's everything for now. Thank you so much once again for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.